Hey there, my name is Daryl Woods. I work at Adult Services at Hollywood St. Paul's and this is 10 Quick Facts about Islands. Number one, all continents are islands except for Europe, of course, which is actually a subcontinent. So the continents themselves aren't considered islands when you're considering aspects of islands like which one's the largest, the smallest, the most southerly, the tallest, on and on. So number two, speaking of the largest island, Greenland takes that prize, although it is immense at over 836,000 square miles, it's not as large as it appears on a map. Greenland is less than a third of the size of Australia and about a quarter of the size of the contiguous United States. Number three, roughly one of six people in the world live on an island. Number four, a rocky island that is too small for human habitation is called a scary. Number five, Volcano Point is an island on a lake in the Philippines called Main Crater Lake. Now, Main Crater Lake is found on Volcano Island, and Volcano Island resides on Tile Lake, and Tile Lake is located on an island called Luzon. So you've got an island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island. Uh, let's see, we got number six. There's an island in the Bahamas called Pig Beach whose only inhabitants are swimming pigs. Number seven, a third of the plants on the isolated Yemeni island of Socotra are found nowhere else on the planet. Number eight, the most populated island in the world is Java at about 150 million residents. It takes up more than half of Indonesia's total population. Number nine, Sweden has more islands than any other country. More than half of the 221,800 islands are uninhabited. And finally, the word isle is not short for island, as the two words came to us from two different sources. Island has been part of the English language since it emerged from Proto-Germanic, where it could literally be interpreted as land in the water. Isle came to us from the French and Latin before that. It's little in literal interpretation was in the salt or in the salty water. Alright, I want to thank uh, Melissa. Did a great job on these pictures and slides. Appreciate her so much. I also appreciate you for tuning in. And I'm um, going to be back next week. And until then, enjoy yourself.